encounter with real meaning, you've come to the right place. Two teams who embody success and both with huge followings about to cross paths. Stay tuned for Chelsea against Manchester United, live on EA TV. Good evening to you and a warm welcome to the part of West London where the King's Road and Fulham Road meet, Stamford Bridge. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League, coming right up. It's Chelsea versus Manchester United. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa begins in goal. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. The lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea starts in goal. Christian Eriksen plays alongside Scott McTominay in central midfield and handed a solo role in attack is Marcus Rashford. Mount. Now with Jorginho. Aubameyang. To jump in front. Oh, did so well to deny him. Bruno Fernandes definitely look as though they want to make this move count but they took care of the situation defensively Kai Havertz an incisive pass credit to them for winning back possession Eriksen it's with McTominay Anthony McTominay. Rashford! And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top class goal. Go 
It'll be interesting to see whether or not Chelsea can articulate an appropriate reply. Wesley Fofana. Now with Jorginho. Mount. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Big chance to get them on terms. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Anthony. And Rashford. Ericsson. Bruno Fernandes has it. Really well played pass. Now this could be productive. But stout defending when it mattered. Sterling. And now with Obama Young. Kai Havertz. And return to Havertz. A chance to whip it in. Well, the goal here for Chelsea from the corner really would change the complexion of the match. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. And over comes the corner. Has to clear his lines. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, he failed to get it away properly. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. getting close to the half-time interval and Chelsea behind, albeit narrowly. Stuart, your assessment of their first half showing? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. And he read it well, intercepting it. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Sterling. The first half here comes to an end. Well, one thing we'd have to say about Marcus Rashford in that first half, very difficult to subdue. Stewart, what did you think of what you saw from him? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more. The second half underway. United with the advantage, but no room for complacency. Well read to put an end to that attack. Mount. Sterling. On to Mount. Good work to win the ball back by United. Jaden Sancho. And here is Malassia. Fernandes. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. Bruno Fernandes. Now with Ericsson. Offside, a tight one. possession again 
Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Is it going to be? Oh, it was a crucial challenge. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Conte. It's with McTominay. No let-up in the pressing department. Going well. Sterling. And lining it up. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Bruno Fernandes. Scott McTominay. And Rashford. With a textbook interception. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, what support these Chelsea fans have given the team. But time isn't on their side. They need a goal quickly. Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch. Number 10, Marcus Rashford. Coming onto the pitch. Casemiro and unable to pick out a teammate and that'll be a throw now we're inside the final 15 minutes Fofana Thiago Silva here's Kovacic Havertz. Opportunity. Well, what a stop that was. But in the closing stages, and Stuart, Chelsea are slightly up against it here. Well, it's been tight, but they've lacked a cutting edge. They've done well at the back and in midfield, but the final pass, the shot or cross have lacked that bit of quality. Can they find that missing link in these final few minutes? We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Now he must favour the cross. Havertz. Now Aubameyang. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Anthony. It's with McTominay and snuffing out the danger well taking into account all the stoppages two minutes to be added on and the pass could do damage that's all they can conjure for now the final whistle then the referee says that will be all and Chelsea fans less than pleased no points for Chelsea from this game well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, good luck to any defender trying to stop Marcus Rashford, and they haven't had too much luck on that front, Stuart. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.